Hello students. In our last lecture we discussed about the addition of two angular momenta and we had taken the specific case for j1 equals to half and j2 equals to half. So we have something like a proton neutron case. Uh, both have intrinsic spin angular momentum of half h bar. So for the total angular momentum we had when j1 equals to half then the values of m 1 will be equal to half and minus half and and when j2 is also half then the values of m2 are also half and minus half so therefore the m value which is the sum of m1 and m2 takes m1 plus m2 will come out to be 1 0 0 minus 1 so when m1 is half and m2 is half then they will be equal to 1 and half minus half 0 minus half half 0 minus half minus half minus 1 and we wrote the down the phi function which is 1 1 this is the value of j sorry j and this is the value of m this is associated with, associated with the psi function by half 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 note that this is the value of j1 this is j2 and this is m1 and this is m2 Uh, it is denoted that when m is equal to 1 m1 must be equal to half and m2 must be equal to half clear so <coughs> when j minus is operated on it we got that after j minus is operated on both sides we got that phi 1 0 remember that j minus only decreases the value of m only it doesn't change the values of j this will be equal to 1 over root 2 psi half half minus half half plus 1 over root 2 psi half 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 minus half so these coefficients 1 over root 2 which relates this phi function with this psi function are known as the Klebsch garden coefficients again it must be noted that when m is equal to 0 then m1 must be equal to minus half m2 equals to plus half or m1 equals to half m2 must be equal to minus half once again when j minus is operated on both sides
then we will get this state psi 1 minus 1 this will be equal to uh, we will get some constant here uh, eclipse garden coefficient and we will get the psi function by which is half half minus half and minus half I wrote this step directly but uh, this is I will leave it as an exercise for you to do it by yourself so that you can better understand it and uh, for your uh, convenience I will do uh, some uh, operations of J minus and some st uh, state to how to up, uh, obtain the eclipse garden coefficients later on in this lecture and you should uh, have to be expected that when here the value of m is minus 1 m mi m1 must be minus half and m2 must be minus half now <coughs> these three states 1 1 1 0 1 minus 1 as we know that these are called the triplet state and how I get the phi zero zero state function you cannot operate j minus on this state because it the j minus operator do not change the j value so you use the fact that this uh, <coughs> these two has to be orthogonal to each other that let me write it here that phi 1 sorry 0 0 is equal to 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 into psi 1 half minus one half or I'm sorry that this is not minus I will put that minus here let me write it again phi one minus one is equal to 1 over root 2 let's take 1 over 2 common from these two into minus psi half half minus half half plus plus sine half 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 minus half this is only possible when uh, I'm sorry this is not minus one in fact this is zero zero state when the j value is zero and m value is also zero clear then this is only possible that here either j1 is minus or j2 is minus half clear so j will be equal to zero here This is uh, 
only possible that as uh, this phi zero zero is the linear combination of these two states such that a it is normalized and b it is orthogonal to each other so finally when i write these four states in order that when this phi one one state this is associated with the psi function uh, as j1 j2 is common in all the uh, all these states so i am not writing it i will only write m1 and m2 values half half this is the value of m1 this is m2 and note that j1 and j2 are present in all these states and phi 1 0 is equal to 1 over root 2 psi minus half half plus psi half minus half and the phi 1 minus 1 state is psi minus half minus half and phi 0 0 this is equal to 1 over root 2 into minus psi minus half half plus psi half minus half this state this one zero zero sorry this one one state is spin up state is called spin up state and this is up up state and this one is the linear combination of this can be represented as one over root two of down up down up plus up down and this state is the down down state and this is known as 1 over root 2 of down up plus up down these three states are called the triplet states and this state is called the singlet state finally I also write down this in the form of a matrix that a column matrix this is phi 1 1 phi 1 0 phi 1 minus 1 and phi 0 0 
this is equal to a square matrix multiplied by psi half half this is the value of m1 this is the value of m2 psi half minus half psi minus half half sorry this is positive not and psi minus half minus half and here we can write as one zero 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 and zero one over root two one over root two zero and here we can write it as zero 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 one zero one over root two one over minus one over root two and zero these four states these four states can be obtained by multiplication of these two matrices when you multiply this one with this matrix first row and this column you will get 100 I mean this one you will get psi half half clear plus 000, zero, zero and so on and once you multiply this one with the all these this one will become zero this will be half psi half minus half and half psi minus half half clear and you will get this state one zero and when you multiply this one uh, you will multiply this uh, row with this column matrix you will get this phi one minus one and similarly when you multiply this last row to, uh, with this column matrix you will update this uh, phi zero zero state so this uh, these coefficients which are represented by the square matrix are known as the Klipsch garden coefficients for the uh, neutron proton case for j1 and j2 equals to half case now I give you another example let us consider the case of hydrogen atom problem the spin orbit interaction we assume that when j1 is equal to l equals to 1 this means that for n equals to 2 for the n equals to 2 l will be equal to 1 and for hydrogen atom in the n equals to 2 state then if I assume j1 equals to l equals to 1 and this is represented by r by the wave function r21 the wave function for this state is represented by r21 this is the value of n and this one is the value of l which is 1 of r y lm here the value of l is 1 and this is m which is the function of theta and phi 
So for this state, the value of m, which is the value of m1, is 1, 0, minus 1. m takes these values. And let also the electron has spin, let j2 is equal to s, which is equal to half. Then for this, m2 takes the values of half minus half. And m will be equal to, which is m1 plus m2, and it takes the values 3 by 2, Three by two when this is added with this one and one is added with minus one this is minus one over two zero and half this will be one over two zero minus half minus one over two minus one one over two this is minus one over two and minus one minus one over two this is minus three over two so here the maximum value of m is 3 over 2, which is the value of m. So the phi function which is 1 because j1 is equal to 1. This is let us this is j1 1 1 over 2 3 over 2 3 over 2 this is the value of j1 j2 this is j and this is m this is only possible because here j is equal to I told you here the maximum value is maximum value of m is 3 over 2 and which is equal to j clear so the value of j comes to be 3 over 2 and m is also 3 over 2 and it is also uh, it is possible when j1 equals to 1 and j2 equals to half it is related with the psi function by psi 